In today's video, we're opening the new Premium Pack Quarter Century Reprint Edition. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another OCG opening where we have a brand new, but also really old, reprint of a 1999 Yu-Gi-Oh! pack. And if you know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh!, the TCG didn't even come out till 2002. So this is three years before the TCG even showed up. And so for the 25th anniversary, Konami decided to reprint this. I don't know how exact it is. I think that we're gonna get the original Japanese like style of card, with, like the big attack, big defense, you know, different text box, stuff like that. We're gonna see it all today. I'm a little confused because I was trying to look up what's in premium pack and then like what I was told was in it it's throwing me off so we're just gonna open up and figure out what's in there but before that we have a giveaway i'll be giving away this hobby league sealed deck box all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below we got Yu Gi Oh gx right there what do you think about this premium pack uh quarter century reprint edition or whatever it's called the legend of duelist quarter century edition is what it, maybe that's what it's actually called interesting so just let me know what you think about that down below and because this is you know there's only a few packs in here i also have a few ocg packs i've had laying around for quite a while now some might be korean i don't know so we have a couple collector yeah that that is not ocg i think this is probably korean if i had to guess so there's two of those arc v we got premium pack that is japanese so premium pack six we've got legendary monster pack that's that's japanese as well so is that and then yeah so it looks like most of them are and then a couple korean i think that's korean packs we'll find out we're gonna open those up as we go as well and have a little ocg slash korean which i guess is korean technically ocg it's just not japanese i mean obviously that everyone knows that but i think ocg is everyone over on like the east side of the world basic no that's not right because tcg is also in europe so tcg is europe i guess central america south america area North America, and then OCG is like the rest, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I need to look this up. All right, enough of that. Not knowing what the heck I'm talking about. Let's start off with this. I'm going to open one of these uh, Korean packs, which uh, for now we're going to say is also considered OCG. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. Original card. Well, it's original card. Doesn't that does it stand for original card game? I feel like I should know that. Trading card game. And I don't know. I give up. Okay, I, uh, this is Arc V. I don't know what's going to be in here. That, look. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight of Master or whatever, is in here potentially. It's on the cover. So let's see what we can get. That looks like one of the, uh, you know, Freezing Hand, Burning Hand. I don't remember anything's name today. We have a train. We have there. Okay, speaking of the, uh, you know, the, the legendary dragons from season four of the anime. What is that? I have no idea. And a couple of a train which you know if you're watching a movie with a train in it this is what always happens like you know that that thing comes undone and the train goes crazy or whatever so i don't know what that is but sure we're off to a great start let's see what's in this premium pack oh i needed to mention i knew there was something i was forgetting this was sent to me by yuki market so go check out yuki market down below if you guys want to grab anything from over in japan or somewhere over there where it's like really hard to get stuff over here they're pretty clutch they've sent me a lot of stuff in the past a lot of ocg stuff so uh, go check them out and see if there's anything on their website you want. And you can use my link for an affiliate. So check that out if you're interested. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Uh, okay, this is opening kind of weird. It's like little slivers. There we go. All right, we got it open. So inside there should be, okay, 25th anniversary, Legend of Duelist 25th. Is there anything about how many packs there are? I remember last time I thought it said nine packs, but that was for ages nine and up. That's what somebody told me. I was like, oh, whoops. Uh, that's, I definitely cannot read Japanese. So made in Japan, I can read that. <laughs> okay, let's go. So how many packs are in there? Maybe 10, something like that. Let's just, uh, we're gonna pull them all out. Let's just pull one out at a time just because the box is really cool. So we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon on the front. Very cool. Is that on a card like that ever? Because that's pretty awesome looking. I'm guessing they have the pull tab. So I'm just going to... Yep, they have the pull tab. Yes. Look at me figuring out the pull tab for OCG openings. Oh, Goddess of Whim. So I think from what I saw about the original premium pack, see, first of all, okay, they don't have the original art text box and stuff they have the new text box so maybe they updated it to the new text box i'm not gonna lie i'm a little sad about that i was i was hoping it was the original i think there's only 10 cards in this set but then i was seeing pictures of like two other cards that were not in the tent so i don't know let's find out we have uh wait there are some okay that's awesome serpent knight dragon okay time out let me let me reread this it contains cards and contains cards with the japan origin or, or, japanese original layout so maybe it just means i guess that meant it does contain some, not all. Okay, so some are original, some are not. So Goddess of Whim, this is the updated version. That's definitely Japanese. That looks a little bit more uh, 
scandalous okay and then we have a serpent knight dragon that is beautiful in the original like you know the small text over here we got the giant attack and defense which you know don't matter as much anymore to everybody else we have the uh trihorn dra whoa with the stamp on it whoa look at that that's a really shiny stamp i like that trihorn dragon frog the jam secret rare <laughs> oh man we might have to be submitting some of these frog the jam I, I mean i think it's a psa 10 it's a japanese card so you know i might send that in a bulk submission you know what i know this is not going to be an expensive card but this is a meme card that i need to have graded okay you know i don't have a frog the jam mcdonald's pack psa 10 i need to get that Let's go ahead and just do that. So, Frog the Jam, you've been acquired. Man, just check this out. The original Serpent Eye Dragon, I mean, that is beautiful. Okay, so it's not just a straight reprint of the 10 cards. They they took a bunch of old cards because Goddess of Wind was one of the 10 cards, so I thought maybe we were just going to be 10, like, over and over. But Trihorn and Serpent Knight and Frog the Jam are... Oh, actually, Slime Toad is there. Frog the Jam is the old name. Slime Toad is the new name. So, it looks like it's a mixture of a lot of cards. So, that's more exciting then, actually. So, let's go to the next pack. I know I'm taking a long time on these. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just getting a little... Just trying to figure out what's going on with this pack, you know? Because with the OCG stuff, it's, you know, I, I don't open it as much. So, I don't know as much about it right off the bat. So, I kind of got to figure it out. We have a rare there. And, okay, we're just getting rares out of this. Oh, wait. There's two more cards there. That was there. I just missed that. Okay, moving on. Next pack. So it looks like you can't get secrets. I wonder if you can get like a, any like quarter centuries or anything like that in here. Because that could be make this product really cool. Okay. So if there's like a quarter century like blue eyes or something in here, that'd be pretty amazing. Okay, yeah. Because what I'm seeing is you can get like blue eyes ultimate in here. That uh, little horse guy with the fiery wings. Okay, we got gay guardian. Uh, that horse guy with the fiery wings. There we go. It's a pegasus. Something pegasus. That is so cool. The original Yu-Gi-Oh cards that don't have effects that are just like really cool artwork. I mean, in awesome names. Like, I just miss those. We have Time Wizards. So it looks like you get one original border per thing. And then we get the shiny. I got the shiny stamp on the secret rare this time. The uh, Meteor. There's Meteor Dragon, Black Skull Dragon, Meteor Bee Dragon or something like that, I think is the name of this one. Man, that's amazing. That is such a cool looking card. Okay, let's try. So I have a 20th anniversary legendary dragons. I don't know a lot about this, but 20th anniversary, 20th, 20th anniversary, stuff like that can get pretty crazy. So who knows? Maybe there's something crazy in here. I doubt it, but would be pretty exciting if there was. So we have... Hey, okay, we've got the, uh, this is in Battles of Legend Armageddon. I think it's Trishula something. Trishula something. Uh, same thing with this one. Maybe they're all in here. The Judgment Dragon one. Then there might be the, uh, Dark Arm. Is it Dark Arm Dragon one? Yeah, Dark Arm Dragon of Annihilation. I remember that one. And then uh, Chaos Emperor. So those are probably all just, like, automatically in there. But these were the big four that were, uh, reprinted in Battles of Legend Armageddon. Besides, of course, the 10k dragon stuff. So that's pretty cool to see those. They're a little warped, but that's pretty awesome. Next pack. OCG openings are pretty fun just because of all the cool stuff that they do. Even if you can't like read the cards, it's still pretty amazing. Oh, Trihorn, the original borders. Let's go. That's exciting. That looks really awesome. 2850, 2350 anime style. There's the Blue Eyes Ultimate. I wish that was anime style. Okay, that's cool. Ooh. The original Dura is it just Durama Cannon? You know, not destructive Durama Cannon, the trap card that came out recently. That's from McDonald's Pack One, I think. And then uh, Serpent Knight Secret Rare. So, looking like one original border per uh, per pack. You know, I wonder, can you play these in like in like the OCG? Can you play this? Because like you know, it looks different and like everything's a little bit different, but you know. It's a normal monster and so and it would still have the effect and everything so if you're playing in the ocg or you know about the ocg let me know in the comments can you play those cards i would assume that you can but i don't know that for sure okay next up let's do a legendary monsters pack whatever that means legendary monsters pack okay so i got the pull tab on that one as well very nice whoa oh okay is that a blue eyes what oh no that's mystical elf mystical elf who i guess in the lore isn't mystical elf like is mystical elf the same as like the no it's not the same because like the girl that becomes the blue eyes is different right i need to rewatch Yu Gi Oh. i'm going too soon okay so that's a cool looking card though that's amazing uh yeah i mean that is that's insane i gotta look that card up that's awesome uh that looks like a baby wing dragon raw and then that guy, oh, I know that card. Guilt, I feel like that's like a guilty card or something like that. All right, cool stuff in this so far. I mean, some really cool Japanese stuff. There's a lot of cool packs in Japan, in the OCG that we've never opened. And that's some stuff that I need to delve into because we open all, 
first of all. Dancing Elf, that's awesome. That's a TP2 card. Well, before that, it was in, I guess, one of the OCG packs, but that's pretty amazing. But yeah, we've opened a lot of the English stuff. Time to try out some of the Japanese stuff at some point. Okay, the uh, the Mick, for short, because it's a very long name, but that's a TP2 card as well as a rare. Oh, yes. Frog the Jam. Slime Toad, whatever you want to call him. Original. Oh, and then uh, ta it's like Tapu Purin or something like that is his name. That's cool. Um, Frog the Jam, you got to get submitted, okay? Frog the Jam, we got we got to add this to our bulk subs. Which, by the way, I saw PSA is doing like $14 subs right now, which is pretty awesome. I mean, that is like uh, the cheapest it's been in many years, actually. Probably before COVID. All right, let's do a Prismatic Special Pack. Let's see what's up next. Man, I need to, get, I need to acquire more of this stuff. Oh, Time Wizard of Tomorrow. I'm guessing a lot of these are guaranteed, but this is still amazing. The Cyber Harpy. Yeah, these are all like Legendary Duel Season 3 kind of stuff. All uh, Genzo layered. Okay, so awesome cards. What are they? Just Starlights? I mean, there's no there's no stamp down there, so I guess they are just Starlights. That's pretty cool. All right, so far, I'm having a lot of fun with this opening. Just like not knowing what the heck is coming. You know, sometimes after, you know, back in the day, I didn't used to know like all the packs super well, and now it was like, you know, so mysterious. Now I kind of know a lot of the stuff about the English stuff. So running into something you don't really know is pretty fun. We have a Tapu Purin or whatever his name was. Uh, Exodia. Original Exodia Borders. Come on, that's what we want. And then, ooh, Blue Eyes Ultimate. We also want that. Blue Eyes Ultimate Prismatic Secret. That's pretty amazing as well. Last pack, Premium Pack 6. This might actually be an old pack, which is guaranteed cards, I think, in here. But I don't know what they are. So... You know, it doesn't make a difference to me. The thing about that, knowing what's in there, when when it's like guaranteed, like a starter deck and stuff, it's like, oh, I already know what it is. Why would I open? I don't know what this is. I could look it up. What am I going to? Let's see. We have, oh, Marshmallow. Oh, it's got damage to it, unfortunately. That's a beautiful holofoil. Though. Look at it. It's super shiny. Marshmallow is just such a, like, simple yet effective artwork. I really like it. Uh, Marshmallow glasses. So, okay. This is pretty close. This is like our premium pack one, I think. Or is it two that we had this one? The sh uh, shield destruction, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. This is all the same cards that are in ours. That's pretty cool. And then the Yada Garasu, lore of Yada Garasu, something like that. Or maybe it's a legend of Yada Garasu. I think that might be it. Okay, those are some cool packs. I don't know how many packs are in here, but I feel like we've already opened a lot more than I thought. <laughs> like I thought there was only 10, but there might be more than that. Let's see. All right, another one of this guy. Little Durama Cannon. We have Serpent Knight. Ooh, that would be cool in the original. And then, oh, okay. Little Pegasus action. Not Sapphire Pegasus, a completely different one. Let's try this one next. Here we go. Give us some luck. This has been a fun opening. It's different, but it's been fun. Dancing Elf. Here we go. Next card. Okay. Ah, yeah, it's our guy. Another Frog the Jam. We got a Singenjin, or whatever his name is, and, oh, Exodia, another shiny Exodia. Still not original Borders, though. Is Borders the right way? Card layout? I don't even know how to say it, but... Hey, Slime Toad, aka Frog the Jam, you know what's going on. Slime Toad, I mean, Toad and Frog, not even the same thing, and they change his name to a Toad. I mean, come on. He's a frog. He's Frog the Jam, okay? Frog the Jam, completely different. Okay, what are we down to? I think maybe three more packs. Okay, we got three more packs right here. Let's see what we can get. Can we get something cool we haven't gotten yet or a playset of <laughs> frog the jam frog the toad slime the jam we've got trihorn yes magician of black chaos oh that's super cool that is an amazing looking card and another thing apparently in the original premium pack they didn't have these uh eye of anubis i think so this is actually different that they have the eye of anubis uh we have the goddess of whim yeah mcdonald's pack and another, another one. Okay, that's cool. But that's uh, not the original board. I don't know. I mean, these probably aren't going to be super valuable graded, but at the same time, they're like really cool. So I just feel like they're cool cards to have slabbed. So I'm not like necessarily grading a lot of these. I mean, Slime Toads for the memes, but this is just like a classic card. So I think that I'm going to try it because, you know, the quality of OCG is so good. That good chance to get a 10. Two packs remaining. Let's see what we can pull here. We've got Meteor Dragon. Just Meteor Dragon. Cosmo Queen, let's go, that is so cool. Cosmo Queen, you know, go with McDonald's Pack 1. I love McDonald's Pack 1. You guys saw it in McDonald's Pack 2 the other day too, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, okay, another uh, Pegasus and another Cosmo Queen. They like to repeat the secrets as the, uh, I don't even know what to call these, the, the other different looking old Japanese style ones. All right, last pack magic. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also if you wanna grab any of these or any other Japanese products, go check out Yugi Market, use my affiliate link down below. 
Let's see what we can pull right here. Okay, okay, I can't get these out. They're wanting to sneak in there. What is this? Oh, oh, okay, it's another dancing elf. Okay, we've seen dancing elf before. No big deal. Oh, is there something shiny back there? Do you like? Is there like a quarter century in here? Okay, this is unexpected. Last pack. I'm guessing they're guaranteed. Oh, a Mick. That's pretty cool. Uh, that definitely look. Oh my goodness, what could it be? Oh, please be something awesome. Frog the jam, frog the jam. Come on, guys, send some luck. Here we go. Okay, it's a it's a normal maybe. Oh, a serpent night dragon. Oh, check that out. So I'm guessing that's one per box. That's pretty awesome. Okay, it's kind of sad that it's not in the original border or the original art or style. I just can't get the right word for that. Original style. That would have been pretty cool in a quarter century. Wait. Like, yeah, quarter century. So, okay, that turned out to be a pretty amazing opening. I had a lot of fun with those. Those were a lot more interesting than I thought they'd be when I was like, premium pack, all the same cards. These are, you know, they've got more cards in them. They've got different styles of whatever. They've got different rarities. That's pretty fun. Shout out to Toe and Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.